Hi guys, this is Marissa with For the Love of Quilts. I just had some thoughts sitting here. I worked on quilts this evening and thought I'd take a little break. And I got to thinking, um, every quilt that I've ever had, every quilt that I've ever made has a story. And I have a sweet customer who always asks me, so what's the story behind this quilt? And I, I love hearing the stories and I love telling the stories. So what I'm going to do is just tell you guys a couple of those stories. Um, let me go back to one years and years and years ago. So this was many, many years ago. I was probably in my early 20s and I had come home. I was visiting mom and dad and grandma lived right next to mom and dad. And I uh, was up visiting grandma and I can't remember the time of the year. It seems like it was kind of fallish, but she was going to cook some potatoes and she needed some potatoes. So this was back in the day when everybody that I knew grew everything that they needed. So the potatoes were potatoes that she had grown and dug and was storing them in the barn. So I told her I'd run down to the barn to get some potatoes. So I ran down there and when I went in the, the bottom part of the barn where she was storing the potatoes, I saw this beautiful blue quilt and it was covering the potatoes. But that's just the way they did it. They threw something, a blanket or something, over the potatoes. So I got the potatoes and I went back up to the house and I said, Grandma, can I have that quilt that's covering the potatoes? And she said, no, it's covering my potatoes. And I said, okay. So then I went to Rose's and I bought a blanket and took it back up to grandma's and I said, Grandma, if I take this and cover your potatoes, can I have that quilt that's covering your potatoes? And she looked at me like I had lost my mind and she said, well, okay, I just need something to cover my potatoes. So I brought that quilt home with me, covered her potatoes with that roses blanket and wash the quilt and now I have it hanging on a rack and I absolutely love that quilt because now it has that story I don't know the story of how it was made but I know the story of how it was rescued um, another great story of a quilt that I have is the one that I'm sitting on right now this one uh, I don't know if you can see it. This is called Chicken Scratch and it's embroidery on gingham. And this quilt was, um, I found it after my mom passed away seven years ago. She, my mom was, uh, she was very unique, but she, she loved to start a project and once she saw that she could do it, and that it was gonna look good, she would say, well, that's gonna be right pretty. And then she would put everything, she'd already bought all the supplies to make the whole thing. She put everything in a bag and put it in the closet. So I feel lots of unfinished projects when she passed away. This was one of those unfinished projects and she had done three or four of these. There's actually 20, this is a queen size. There's 20 of them. Uh, but she had bought everything, embroidery floss, everything for this, to finish it. Even, I mean, the green, everything, it was in the bag. So um, I got that out and the whole year, you know, the first year, when you lose somebody, the first year is always the hardest. Well, that whole first year, anytime I had a spare minute, that's, this is what I was working on. And it just helped me. I thought about mom when I was doing it and I just loved it. I could just hear her saying, well, that's looking right pretty. So that's the story behind this quilt. And there are some others. I have a quilt that um, I'm looking at right now. You can't see it but it's a holly hobby quilt that's the print and it's orange 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 and some greens and it's really 
now not very pretty, but when I was 12 years old and we moved into, uh, we built a house near my grandma uh, and papa, I wanted orange, an orange room, and my mom was not real crazy about it. So that was her um, concession. She would make me a quilt that was orange. So I have, I still have this Holly Hobby quilt that is <laughs> not the prettiest thing, but I love the story behind it. Um, another story, this is a recent one. Another great story is my daughter recently got married to her high school sweetheart and while they were on there, I had an idea of the quilt that I was going to make them because every bride needs a quilt. And I had an idea of the quilt I was going to make them. I wanted to do a rail fence or some variation of that. I wanted to use fabric that was my mom's, uh, my daughter's grandmother's fabric, and my aunt's. So it's my daughter's grandmother and her great aunt's fabric. I wanted that to go into the quilt and nothing else, just those things. But I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for the back. So, in all the wedding planning, we um, we got some muslin fabric, and my daughter hemmed. We cut it to size. She hemmed several of those to use as tablecloths at the wedding. So, that's what we did, and there was one that went on the table with a charcuterie. Sh I never can say that word. My kids always have to correct me. Charcuterie? boards. Anyway, the hams and the cheeses and the nuts and all that stuff. Those boards. And there were, there was one board that had blackberries and some of the blackberries got, they fell off onto the tablecloth and they kind of got smushed in. And if you've ever got blackberry on something, you know that it doesn't come off. So there were terrible blackberry stains in several places on this tablecloth. So, after the wedding, we just wadded up all the tablecloths. I brought them home with me, um, and I washed them up. And when I got that one out of the dryer and saw that that blackberry stain was not coming out, I thought, that is what I'm going to use for the back of their quilt. What a great story. So, that's what I used. And they loved it, and I loved it. And it's just a great story. Um, I love the t-shirt quilts because everyone is individual and it's the memories, it's the story, it's the person's story. So I've made, um, I made a king size for, um, a guy who was the mascot at his college and it's all the shirts that he got through all the years and it's just his memories of football season and being the mascot and being on the field. And it was, it was a great story. And I hope when he looks at that quilt, he remembers all those wonderful memories. Um, I've made quilts, um, uh, football shirts or softball shirts. And I hope that when they look at them, they remember all the wonderful times, all the all the, and not just wonderful times, all the times when they were playing and it was so hot, they thought they were going to die and they didn't. And they made it through as a team and they won or, or they lost and it was really tough. But then they came back better or they were just sad for a while. Anyway, every quilt has a story. And that's really what life is all about. It's about those relationships that we have built with the people in our lives as we're writing our story as we're as we're building our life our life really is our story so i just wanted to share that with you guys and i wanted to tell you that i want you to go and write an amazing story and i want you to have a really really great evening great day great life full of hope and happiness